Namaste again, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful queens. Look at this uh, cup. I I think I'm I'm starting more more and more being a queen type. Uh, look at this. It ain't easy being queen. Well, it ain't easy. Actually, this is about uh, the subject of. Uh, this uh, video it's uh, not about uh, being it's actually it's about being a queen and who is a queen uh, who actually is a queen it's um, some uh, women consider if they marry some uh, millionaire you know they have a lump what is it lamborghini or a lamborghini i never really knew how to exactly pronounce it but um Lots of women I had seen, my beautiful queens, uh, who consider uh, there is only one goal in life. So you just got to um, be smart enough to end up in a legal marriage with some rich guy. And uh, you, you're good. Even if you divorce, uh, you, you're going to be good. You're set for life. Uh, they consider themselves queens because they have the glamour, you know, they go visit this very boring party. I don't know how, uh, you know, people find it exciting, the parties. I absolutely hate parties. The parties of the rich I even hate more. Excuse my dog. Excuse my dog. It's um, honestly very boring. Excuse me. Uh, yes, my beautiful queens. Uh, so I'm going to take this cup, put it, put it, no, put it here, out of my coffee. So um, the thing is that what I want to tell you is the, um, that fact that actually queen, who is the queen? Uh, queen is equal to awakened woman. And uh, there is a downside, you know. Uh, if you can call it a downside, I call it not a downside. I call it a, a, a upgrade of yourself. I've told you many and many times of uh, self dignity, self value, and self respect. I had to learn it hard way. Unfortunately, uh, it, there have been many years when I had none of this. So, um, but there are some things which the queens and awaken women are dealing with. Uh, you can call it side effects, uh, even if you read into the um, uh, many articles lately, many books lately, when you uh, get to the next level in your um, consciousness, when you become awakened, when you are, uh, how you said, you how that uh, our, our own guy how is express i am here to um change the collective consciousness to rise the collective consciousness to transform the collective consciousness uh, this is not about collective consciousness this is about yours then suddenly you um stop uh, and no longer like your friends who don't change and they stay at the same level you don't have nothing to talk about with them for example they keep on discussing their boyfriends or their husbands or who ate something or who bought a new I don't know dress you don't care about it you want to discuss the meaning of the universe you want to discuss the multi-dimensional reality they don't get it so you start losing the old paradigm you start losing the old friends and old people who were in, in your life before um, this is sometimes happening so uh, I want to talk about what it is in a relationship if you are a queen means you are awakening a woman so uh what happens why men why men are terrified of queens and awaken women why is that uh this text wasn't written by me but it's word for word i signed my name there it was written by christina alfie uh, Christina Alfie, A L F E Y. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to read it to you, but uh, kind of putting my words there, so it's really important for you to listen. Uh, so she's addressing to a man, 
if you choose to love an awakened woman, understand that you are entering into new radical and challenging territory. Queens, do men love challenges? Yes, until it becomes scary. If you choose to love an awakened a woman, understand that you are entering into new radical and challenging territory. If you choose to love an awakened woman, you cannot stay asleep. Now, this many of them do not want to do. This is work. This is changes. This is something they are could be lazy about or to or to the, the old paradigm is too comfortable for them. Uh, so they might not want to do it. But does it mean you have to slip back into unawake, being unawakened? Absolutely not. If a man chooses to love an awakened woman, he cannot stay asleep. If you choose to love an awakened woman, every part of your soul will be aroused, not just your sexual organs or even your heart. Frankly, if you prefer a normal life, stay away from awakened woman. Stick with a normal girl. If you want a tame life, Seek only a woman who has allowed yourself to be tamed. If you only want to dip your toe into the flowing waters of Shakti, stay with the safe, tamed woman who has not yet plunged into the wilderness of the sacred feminine ocean. It is comfortable to love a woman who has not yet activated her inner sacred powers because she doesn't push your buttons. This is exactly what we do with not just a man in our life. We do it with everyone entering our life. Uh, you should see all the people who know me. It's, it's half laughing, half being frustrated when they tell me, before you, I knew it all. I thought I knew it all. I, feel, I thought I knew what I wanted. I thought I knew where I was going, why I was going there. But when I met you, it all fell apart. And now I'm all new transforming person. And uh, I am in, in my existential crisis. And I am in my... Um, dark night of a soul after dark night comes the morning yes we will push their buttons awaken woman she will challenge you the normal woman will not challenge you she will not press you into becoming your highest self she will not awaken the forgotten and numbed out parts of your spirit that urge you to remember that there is more to you, more to your life here than this. You will not look into your weary eyes. I'm sorry, she will not look into your weary eyes and sent a lightning bolt of truth through your body, jolting you awake and steering long lost desires for soul love within you. A safe, unawakened woman will be wonderfully satisfying and soothing to your ego and to your body. She will walk quietly beside you and make you feel needed, make you feel like you are fulfilling your manly role. If this is enough for you, then accept it. Love her with all your heart. Remain faithful to her and thank her daily for the gift of her mind. 
for her feminine presence in your life? If this is not enough for you, if your heart, body, and spirit is only craving the other kind of a woman, the wild one, then know that you are on the cusp of soul shifting transformation. Know that you are making a serious choice with karmic consequences. If you choose to step into the aura and body of a woman whose spiritual fires are blazing, you're accepting that you need a certain level of danger and risk in order to grow. Once you begin to love a woman of this nature, you must accept total responsibility for the life changes that she will bring into your life. Your life will not be sleepily comfortable all the time with such a woman. Your life will not allow you to stay stuck in old ruts and stagnant routines. Your life will take on radically new flavor and scent. You will be ignited by the presence of the wild feminine and it will begin to send electric shockwaves of spiritual light through your entire chakra system, attuning you to the call of the divine. Choosing to be sexually and romantically intimate with an awakened woman takes masculine courage to walk freelessly into the unknown but it will reap rewards beyond your mind's comprehension. She will take you into undiscovered worlds of mystery and magic. She will lead you. She will mesmerize you. And half drunk with love, into the wild forests of sensual ecstasy and wonder you will enter. She will show you sacred skies so full and burning with stars that you will start to wonder if you are still living on the same planet that you were born on. She will break and tear you open so that you fierce, passionate heart drives you half mad with longing. This is so about me. I'm sure about you too, girls. You will want to consume, to penetrate her on every level so that your masculine essence can consume and penetrate the world, illuminating the universe with your devoted love. She will see you like you've never been seen before. She will trust you. She will appreciate you. She will acknowledge your efforts to make her happy. She will value everything good that you do and everything good that you are. She will not run from your darkness because your darkness does not scare her. She will embrace, kiss, caress and love you back to life. She will speak words that your soul understand. She will not punish you for your mistakes. It is a momental risk, monumental risk, to love an awakened woman because there is suddenly no place 
to hide. She sees everything, therefore she can love you with a depth and presence that your heart and body have yearned for so hard, so long, so fiercely that you wonder whether you have actually been alive for all the time that she has been away. Loving a woman like this is a choice you make to start living with your soul on fire. Your soul on fire. Your life will never be the same again once you invited her energy in. Take this risk on yourself or step back. Stay with a normal girl and accept a different, safer, more comfortable and somewhat calmer life just to make sure that if you choose the latter, you don't spend the rest of your days with your eyes looking back over your shoulder, straining to see once again the hazy vision a feminine mystery that has now disappeared from view. She has long gone, spiraling back to the stars, to the distant galaxies, and to the heavens from where she originally came. Sophie Bashford. So, my beautiful queens, how many men would have the courage to risk it and to be like, or to be with those like us? Brilliant text. Written by Sophie Bashford. Beautiful and brilliant. But not many men would risk it. But if they don't risk it, then it's their loss. We don't lose anything. There will be the one who will risk it all. Or probably there is already one who agrees to risk it all. Will a woman like this run after a man? Will a woman like this chase, beg for love, crave attention? fall to his feet? The answer is negative. And this woman is a queen. This is a queen. And don't you dare to go for anything less. Sometimes queens and awakened women like this Try to pretend to be normal, to be ordinary. It's like the swan is going to pretend to be a deer or a cat. It's not going to last. Remember who you are and stay true who you are. You are a queen, an awakened woman, a feminine mystery. The one from the faraway stars and distant galaxies. Don't you dare to forget it. Don't you dare. And if someone finds your light too blinding, too scary, you can only feel pity to them as they will choose the cub cubic uh, zirconium and refuse 
from a diamond. Don't you dare to forget who you are. Namaste.